Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel all about Alex and if you're new here welcome 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 today's video is going to be a summer clean and decorate with me I'm starting with our master bedroom um, that usually gets me going and if I get my master bedroom clean then I'm usually motivated to do more so I'm starting here and as you can see it's quite a mess um, we have the grand princesses all week so the bedroom uh, gets quite messy um, just because they like to come and cuddle with us in bed when they get out of school and stuff before dinner. So anyway, I am just starting with um, changing my sheets. I got a beautiful new um, quilt from Target. It's the Casa Luna brand. Um, and it's so, so comfortable and so soft. So I'm excited to put that on. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just changing all of my sheets. And then we'll go from there. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. It really helps my channel to grow. I am on a real push to be monetized and I cannot do that without each one, each and every one of you. So please consider subscribing, becoming a member of the All About Alex family. And here we go. And so here you just see me doing what I always do, which is um, use my Method Wood for Good Cleaner to clean and polish um, all of the wood in our um, home. And uh, I love to use it because it leaves a really pretty shine on the furniture and you don't get all that build up. So I love that so much. And I use it every time I clean um, all of our wood surfaces. And then I also, I don't know if I've already done it here. I probably already did it, but I use my linen, DIY linen spray that I make myself. And uh, I spray all of our mattresses with that whenever I'm changing the sheets. And um, it just makes our uh, bedroom smell so, so good. And I change the scents with the season. So I just go on Pinterest and find seasonal scents. And that's what I use to um, make my DIY linen spray. And I will have that recipe for this particular one in the description box below. Y'all, I love this new comforter so much. First of all, the color is so pretty and bright and sunny and just reminds me of summer. And uh, it's actually reversible, so it has a different design on the other side. Uh, so you could use it either way. And it was just so soft and fluffy. Uh, it was a really great uh, purchase. And I do the same thing with our pillows. I just spray them with the DIY linen spray and then change the pillowcases to the clean pillowcases. And I think the bed turned out so cute. And I usually just mix and match my pillow or my uh, sheet sets. So I don't always put on the, the whole set to the um, comforter. I'll put a, I'll mix and match them. I feel like you get more variety that way. And um, so here I am just spraying each pillow and then putting the new pillowcases on and I'll do that for both sides.
And so then over here on our little chairs that we keep over here by the window, uh, I'm just changing out the spring uh, decor that I had on here, switching it out for the summer and um, changing out uh, the pillows as well, the throw pillows, and then putting the ones that I'm not gonna use away in this trunk in front of our bed. And so here I'm just doing a little bit of spot cleaning. Um, there were a couple of stains on here, most likely from the girls when they bring their snacks and drinks in here. Um, so I'm doing that and then I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this little area here. I always try to change things out for the seasons on here as well. And But some things stay the same. I always keep a tray on here with our books, some a couple books and candles and stuff like that. And I just love this little, um, crate here i've had it for so many years um i've refurbished it a couple times it really does come in handy i keep all of our blankets and throw pillows and things in there that i'm going to use for our room um, as i change out the decorations for the seasons so So then after I finished with the bed, I just started picking up all the things around the room. Um, we had gone shopping. We're taking the girls on the trip at the end of the month. And so we had gotten a few things for the trip. So I wanna put those things away. And you'll see like a whole bunch of papers laying here on the floor to the side of me. And that's because I had uh, spilt some uh, juice or milk or something um off of my little side table and it was all it got all over those papers so it's kind of letting them trying to let them dry out a little bit uh we're getting ready to get the carpets clean so i really didn't i just spot cleaned the carpets but i really wanted to save these papers so that's what those are there for and i'm just going through and straightening off my side table here and then i'll do the same thing with my husband's side table in a minute
guys, I just think it's so funny how this room gets so messy and just the entire house really um, do, throughout the week when we have the grandbabies. Um, we have them Monday through Thursday and um, it's just crazy. I do this every week. Every week I clean on Mondays usually. That's my cleaning day and every week it's a mess. It's, I, just, I just think it's hilarious because when I was raising my kids, this our rooms would never look like this. But then again, I was 25 years younger and I just can't keep up with them. So I just give myself a break and like enjoy them and don't worry too much about, you know, put, trying to walk behind them and pick up every little thing and make sure everything is in its place. I just wait until my cleaning day and um, reorganize and put everything back together and clean and do all those things while they're at daycare slash school and then we do it all over again and we're blessed truly to have them so i don't mind doing it As you see, I had to put my robe back on. Those good old hot flashes and then cold spells or whatever you call them. I, I'm i going through it, y'all. But um, yeah, I just put my robe on so I could get warm again. And uh, you'll see it coming off again. <laughs> uh, such is life. So yeah, I'm just doing the same thing over here on our um, bigger dresser. And I usually don't change the decor up here too much. I take away some things, add a little bit, but most of the things on this dresser stay uh, year round and I just might add a little bit to it to make it a little bit more festive depending on the seasons. And then here on our taller chest of drawers, I'm just cleaning off the top here, putting things back where they belong. Um, and then I'll dust this off as well. And I went to the Bath and Body uh, actually this weekend. I got a few new scents. And I keep those um, in this organizer, door organizer that we got from the container store years ago. And um, I keep all of my bath and body here. I do have a little basket on the floor in this closet for the seasonal ones, like for Christmas and things like that, since that I don't use all the time. So I keep those in that little basket. But otherwise, I keep my scents here along with all of my perfumes and things like that. Um, so that's what I'm doing here is putting away the new ones that I got this weekend. <music>
lastly, I'm gonna just finish up by vacuuming the floor with my handy dandy cordless vacuum that I love so much. And um, that'll be it for the bedroom. Then I'll just kind of give you a quick look around and then I'll move on to the bathroom. And if you have any questions about where anything comes from in the room, please feel free to leave that in the comments. I will be happy to let you know where everything is from. We've had, we redid this room, I want to say maybe two years ago. So we got everything um, back then, but I can let you know where I got everything. You can check and see if they still have it. Um, but yeah, feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section and I will definitely get back with you with whatever information you're requesting.
And then I was ready to move on into the bathroom and go ahead and get that organized and everything put back where it belongs and just kind of get everything nice and clean again. Um, but my grandchildren showed up. You'll see one of them popping in here in a minute. And I don't know what happened to the footage. I lost the footage. So um, you're just going to see me start, but then you didn't get to see the, the end. And I apologize for that, but you've seen the bathroom several times and I pretty much did the same thing that I always do. So um, again, I apologize, but I hope you liked the video anyway. And if you did, please give me a like, subscribe, leave a comment, all those good things. And I hope you have a very wonderful and blessed day. Bye. <laughs>